Hey Aries, this is your February reading. Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. It'd be greatly appreciated. First card out is Curiouser and Curiouser. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. You're curious about someone? Someone maybe you haven't formally introduced yourself to. Also have keeping up, immense effort. If you're thinking about putting some effort to them, but you don't know. It looks like you're a little unsure about that. Also have messages for a rabbit. Service to the animal world. Maybe this person has an animal. Maybe you notice they have animals. Who knows? Let's get some romance angels. For Aries. Also, we have love yourself first. Before you go, try to be in a relationship or try to come towards someone. Make sure you love yourself first, uh, Respect yourself. It makes you more romantically attractive. Also, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Maybe they're not on the spiritual path. Maybe you believe you're very spiritual. Maybe they're not. That might be one of the reasons why you're contemplating moving forward with them, but you're just not sure yet. All right, let's move forward. Let's get some right of weight. What are the messages for Aries for February? What are the messages for Aries? Hierophant, teaching. Teacher, are you teaching someone something? It's also a Taurus card also. Taurus may be prevalent in your life at this time. Maybe, maybe not. What else we have for Aries for the month of February? Aries, the month of February. Teaching someone maybe to do a skill that you already know. Uh, it has to do with working on something persistently. Eight of Pentacles. Could rip, it's Earth. Also represents Earth signs. Teaching them to do something to really be creative and focus on maybe art or Ace of Pentacles. Also, Six of Cups could be someone in your past uh, that you're thinking about that is very creative, that uh, they taught you something. Maybe you taught them something, a skill, some kind of skill. That could possibly make you a lot of money. You perfect, perfect your skill, art, uh, woodworking, anything. Maybe it's one of your friends that's telling you that you can make a lot of money with your artwork. Three of Cups talks of a celebration. Could be a water sign involved. So far we have earth and water with the cups and the pinnacles. Also we have the Four of Cups, which means that Someone's offering you something that you're rejecting. You feel bored. Maybe you're bored with the project that you started. Bored uh, with the offers that you have coming in. You just don't feel like they're worth your time. Whether it be in work or love. 
Maybe you're not seeing that the universe is offering you something stable and a commitment. You're just not satisfied with the cups right now. It's only four cups. You definitely want the ten of cups at least. So four is just not going to do it for you. Maybe your friends are trying to get you set up with someone. You're just not happy with your choices that you have. Not something that you want to entertain right now. Hermit, maybe this is uh, represents a Virgo. Someone that puts a light on a situation. Someone that likes staying alone. Usually you'll find them by themselves. Uh, doesn't go out much. You know, not around a lot of people. Really thinks, doesn't say much. Too many cards. Let's clarify the hermit. Okay, we have ten of cups. This also could mean that you're not satisfied. You do have the ten of cups now. Um, perhaps you thought about what was being offered. You're looking for something that's ten of cups. Just like I said. Something... That was offered to you. You weren't satisfied with that offer. You rejected it. You looked at things differently. And you're like, no, I'm not going to stop, stop at this small offer I'm not happy with. I'm going to move on to, I want something, Ten of Cups. I want to be ultimately happy with my decisions. I don't just want to be bored if I go with the... Am I always doing things? It's just going to make me bored. And I'm not going to be able to move forward and get my happiness. And ultimately, you are the person you need to worry about that's happy, okay? Remember, you got to make yourself happy before you moved on. You're making the right decision. Might be five of ones. Represents a uh, fire sign. Maybe a little conflict with uh, some fire signs in your life. Might be a lot of arguments in the home. A lot of people, you know, maybe a younger uh, fire sign has something to do with the arguments. Trying to argue with you about what makes you happy, looks like. Five of Pentacles. They feel like they'll be left out in the cold. This person's really worried about if uh, you'll still have them in your life. They're worried about if you're going to stay in their life. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. You know, they worry about it a lot. Are you going to cut them out of your life if uh, you move to what makes you happy instead of what makes them happy? Some younger person is really worried about that fire sign energy ten of swords they feel like you're backstabbing and betraying them by going toward your happiness also you have the you know that you got the ten of swords you're going to put an end to that you're going to put an end to anybody trying to manipulate you and get you in the way of whatever it is that you're going toward that's going to make you happy you're not going to allow that in your life anymore because you're the most important person in this. Looks like that you will walk away. You'll turn your back on this situation. You know, you were given to this with the Six of Pentacles. You were trying to balance everything out with this person. Um, you know, showing them love. You was giving them your love with the Queen of Cups. Could have been a water sign involved also. Trying to balance things out with family and home. You know, just like trying to divvy out what you have. Being very, you know, giving and loving. 
toward this person. But it seems like whatever it was, what, you know, if they saw you moving away, uh, you know, creating space in your life or going off by yourself, you know, they were letting you know they didn't like it too good. Maybe this person wanted you to be at their beck and call, and you maybe looks like you're putting an end to that because you want to find your ten of cups and be happy. You want this person to be independent with the Queen of Pentacles and stop being so toxic. Stop, you know, being so obsessed with uh, getting in the way of people's happiness. They're persistently. This is the strength card. Could be a Leo. They're persistently doing toxic things to ruin their stability. They could be stable on their own. No, but they want you to juggle your finances, you know, and help them out. You know, they're wanting you to be there for them. You know, they want all your resources. Good. You know, they want to keep you hard at work at giving toward them. You have the high priestess. But you know what's going on. It's saying a mystery to you. The high priestess, you know, uses their intuition. You know, they don't, they just sit back and watch things happen while other people, you know, get upset. And you're just sitting there like, what? Why? I'm going to choose another path here. I've got... A lot of choices here, and I make the decisions in my life. I'm going toward an equal give and take in jobs and love. That's what Aries is saying. You're going to go toward an equal give and take. So if you're all up in your head about it, I'm going to go search for the Empress to my life. That makes them all, they're communicating that that uh, is not what they want for you. And they want you to be guarded. They want to guard you against communication with somebody you could possibly have the two of cups with. They're wanting to stop you from having that. See that? They're guarding. They're trying to stop communication. This communication, going to visit someone... Uh, moving forward, you know, you got to travel probably to meet this person. And they're trying to stop you from communicating with this person of interest. They're afraid that you're going to give everything you have to this person. They're going to be more stable than they are. And that they're only going to get a little bit. And that's going to really upset them. They're going to, you know, get all depressed on you. But you're going to be in your King of Swords energy, and you're going to see this. And you, it, this person is kind of smirking like, are you kidding me? After everything, all the time, hours, money, and resource, everything that I've given to you, you're going to go get depressed because I'm trying to have a happiness for myself. And you got the sword in your hand. And you're the king of swords. And you will cut people off. I mean, obviously, it, it's getting kind of a... It's like a comedy to you anymore. It's like, what? I just can't believe this. It's just like, you just cannot believe how people act. They want to come in quickly. They're coming in like knights of swords. You know, this is days, days and days of them coming, trying to put a burden on you. Oh, they go out and uh, act reckless. This is also an Aries card, the fool. An Aries person's getting overburdened daily, daily by these people. Whoever it is, it's trying to keep you from your happiness. They're sitting there watching you with the Page of Swords. This younger individual, 
Doesn't matter if it's a year younger. They're watching you be happy. You just want happiness in your life. You know? You just want happiness. They're just watching you like they're, they're really wanting to say something about it. Or they have communicated it. They got their sword down. But they can pick it up at any time and pop off the mouth it looks like. But you're going to break their heart. They're going to be all up in their head. And, you know, it's going to be a shake-up. You have to throw them out of your life. You know, the tower is a shake-up. Something shocking is going to happen. So, it'll be shocking to them when you make your move, your next move. But you're going to move forward. You know, very nurturing. You're a fire starter. You know, you could start fires, light fires under people, get people motivated. You can tell them what you want to do. But if this, and how to get victory in their life, you could tell them everything that you have to know. Tell them about all the conflicts, all the strife, everything that you've had to go through to get to this point in your life. Try to help them move on. But they just want to come in and take from you and leave you very little. They come in, cause conflict, and go out the door. Well, you're going to put a death to this. Death is ending. Could be a Scorpio involved also. Chariot is a Cancer card. Knight of Wands. You're going to stand your ground. Knight of Wands comes in and uh, weeks. But you're going to stand your ground. They coming in daily. You're going to stand your ground. And uh, you're not, you're just not going to let them put you at a crossroads. This does, Two of Swords represents a crossroad. You're moving toward a crossroad. You've already traveled backward. You're King of Pentacles now. You've got your very stable. And what you're looking at is the Four of Wands. Stability. Everybody at home being stable. But it doesn't matter what you say or do. Try to help these individuals out. They just don't get it. They're not getting it. What's advice for Aries? Go toward what makes you happy. And don't lose hope. The Sun card is Leo card. Star card Aquarius. Uh, just don't lose hope. You find happiness, whatever that is, for yourself. And that will be a victory. That will be a victory for you. Even though they're going to sit here and be waiting on you. Trying to put you at, you know, you've looked at everything. You've looked at all sides of the story. They can wait as long as they want to. They're going to be wounded. They're going to, you know, really show out, looks like. But you're going to find your happiness That's what I'm getting for you, Aries. You're going to find your happiness. Let's get... Uh, shadow. Deck. And we'll be done. I hope this resonated with y'all. Hope y'all are doing extremely well. Y'all taking care of yourselves. Staying warm. Y'all please like, share, comment, please. I would appreciate it. A shadow card what do we need for Aries for February Aries the month of February okay we have transition to the spirit realm maybe you're going to become more spiritual or you need to the signs are all around you You're a very good person. There's the mermaid in here. Your sensuality is beautiful. The signs are already here and transition to spirit room. Maybe you're seeing repetitive numbers. Maybe you're seeing the person that you're thinking about's name come up frequently. Or a certain, uh, you know, time of day. You keep seeing, you know, like 
eleven eleven or two 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 or three two three four four four. Look those up. Pay attention to signs, birds, animals, things like that. All right, Aries. Y'all have a good one. Salt Intuition Tarot.